there once again welcome to my channel i'm delighted to have you back on agile tech in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this amazing page callout effect in photoshop with just simple tricks okay so this is the image we're going to use and at the end of the day we're going to kill some part of this image to look like this consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial there's going to be amazing tutorial techniques tricks right here on this channel in this year so in order not to miss those videos you need to turn on the notification bell so this is what we're going to do and i'm going to use this image so without much ado let's jump right into action and then see how we can create this amazing page callout effect in photoshop so in order to start this we're going to create a whole new background so I'll go to file and i'll go to new i'm going to set my background size to 20 by 20 pixels and then leave my resolution around 200 and the background content is going to be white the color mode is going to be rgb and then i'll click on what create so this is the image and this is the, our background for this particular design and then what we need to do is to drag this on top of the background we created so this is the image i'm going to use so i'll drag it on top of my white background and then i'll try to drag out so resize it to fit my background image okay once this is okay i can hit the enter key or just click on the check button over here to confirm this okay so now we have this image sitting on another background we can check this from our layer panel so we are now going to curl out so from our final design can you realize i've curled part of this image and that is what we're going to do so if you go to our, our new design and we're going to curl part of this image so in order to do this we're going to go to the tools option and then use what our selection tool okay rectangular marquee tool i'll just select that and then drag at a portion of the image where i want to curl out so i'll drag at this portion and then i can easily go to my gradient i'll go back to my gradient tool and then select my gradient tool and then pick any gradient at all i'll stick to this and then once you're okay with the gradient you want to you just drag it at a portion where you selected so it's going to select that portion you will see something like this all you need to do is now go back to selection and then click on deselect or hit the ctrl d on your keyboard to deselect that after you are done the next step you need to follow is to go back to your edit menu and then select what transform that's free transform so select the free transform and it's going to select your entire image and then you, the next step is to right click and i'm going to use the warp Two. so select warp from here and it's going to give you something like this so from here we're now going to drag the portion we want to curl out so we come to the bottom here and then use this anchor point and then try to drag this inside and it's going to create this amazing curl out for us you can just adjust the edges how you want them to be and i think i'm okay with this and then all i need to do is just click on what the check button over here or commit this or just confirm this and you can see this portion has been curled out but we want this to show if you look at the main design you can see it's appeared to be far better than what we are doing now so in order to get a perfect curl out effect i'll try to add a shadow to this particular image so i'll double click on this image the image that i applied a curl out and i'll go to shadow so I'll just add some shadow you can see i've added some shadow effect you can drag the size of the shadow if you want to you can also increase the opacity okay i don't want opacity to be too much so i'll reduce the opacity to somewhere around 25 okay you can just type 25 over there okay so i'm okay with the 25 but i'm going to increase the distance a bit the spread also a bit so i'm okay with this particular shadow effect and I'm good to go so the next thing is to write my text over here. i'm going to say made in ghana okay so i'm going to just select my color and then pick a color from my package and then i'll type made so i'm going to type everything in caps so i'll say made in ghana this way and then i will just want to change the color of ghana to a different color so i'll just go back to my color picker and then pick a different color that's the orange color from my label this way and i'll just confirm then i'll use my move to just drag this 
and position it at any way I want to. So you can see we've been able to create this amazing effect within a very simple step. If you enjoyed this tutorial, remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial because I'm going to show you so many amazing tricks right here on this channel. Thank you so much for watching this short tutorial. Like, come away again. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.